You know, I haven't done a Dokkan video or any type of video on a cell phone in a hot minute, bro. But we back. I don't even have my uh, overlay on. That's on my other computer. Uh, so I'm going to rock it with this. Fifth year anniversary come up. So you know, I got to do some content for the one time. Def got a cop from Stones, too. Um, now, see, Boss Rush isn't hard, right? Like, you see the title, you know where you came from. Boss Rush is not hard. It's it hasn't been hard for anybody unless you're a new a newbie uh, for quite a while. And I'm you know I don't mean to offend anybody by saying that, but it just it's an empirical fact. I mean you come in these uh, shout out to the new update. So you got the categories right here, and you got the uh, I think these are links right. Hold up. No, these are effects. So you can now do a team by effects. That's pretty cool. Um, do skill orbs. Right, Dokkan Awakening. Uh, this isn't a breakdown video, by the way, of everything you can do. But, uh, yeah, this is a link skill. This has been on JP for, like, what, six months now? This is the thing I really wanted to, uh, to find is this. This is really cool. But, uh, anyway. So, we're doing Super Saiyan today. Uh, probably my... Probably my strongest team. Um... I don't know uh, for a fact if it is, because I don't really look at my, I looked at like just all my teams in a while, but it would either have to be this or maybe Kamehameha. It's not, my Realm of Gods isn't really that good, but I know Realm of Gods is the strongest in the game, but mine just isn't that good. So we'll go Goku, um, this, is, this is 10, I, I recorded 9, I didn't upload it, I think I still have it, I may upload it soon, but this is 10. Uh, so it should be like counterpart to some Dokkan Adventure probably about, I guess, three or four months now or something like that. Um, it really shouldn't be this hard. I should just go with it, huh? All right. I always like to bring Trunks. He's, he has good leader uh, link skills. Uh, I like Goten because he creates the orbs. And this Goten, obviously creating the orbs is good for uh, Goku, Gogeta, and Vegito. Uh, who are very orb dependent, obviously. Uh, excuse me if you heard that. I guess we'll go with Goten. I mean, he shouldn't really be at risk here. And then uh, we'll just top it off with, with I guess, him right here. Uh, I could obviously bring, like, Gohan and, and uh, Goten and the other guy. Goten and Gohan. Um... Those two obviously are a big timers, but yeah, I don't know. I'm super saying probably isn't like my best uh, team now that I think about it, but yeah, the 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 top level of it is very good. Obviously, Goku and um and uh, Go Gogeta and Vegito, LR G and G, LR Gohan. I mean, those are big headers, right? But the death probably isn't like the greatest. Majin Buu Saga probably very good too to run, but uh. You know, we'll let it rock. So with this, we'll just do boop. And then we'll just do boop. That, that's, that's it right there. That's going to be a lot of this, pretty much. Just going in and smacking them up and keeping them moving, pretty much. I think they should... I don't want to say jump in difficulty, because we have difficult events. And we have, like... I, I, we have a pretty good tier, I feel like, of events that you can run, depending on where you're at in the game. Like, if you're really deep in the game, like, you have pretty much every unit... Then, I mean, go do, um, go do Boss Rush or go do LGE. Like, those are better scaled. And, um, we have some middle lane events. Like, Battlefield is, is, I would say, accessible, um, but not too hard, you know? Like, that's what, that's how I would put it anyway. So, I mean, it pays to, to really run. I would say it pays to run Goku and Vegeta or Gogeta and Vegito together in, in a general sense, but with uh, the orb creation, um, I believe Super Saiyan creates orbs or Super Saiyan Goku creates orbs. With that, you know, it would it would just make I guess more sense to run the two separately and link them both up with a Goku and a Vegeta. Um, probably should turn this off. I think there we go. There we go. Um, and plus, I mean, you always, at least I always run Vegito with Gogeta, so I mean, it's good to switch it up. This Super Saiyan Goku is just incredibly good, by the way. Like, 
you know, this is one of my first LR pulls in a minute off of a off just period, but especially off of that type of banner. And it only took me like two multis to get them. It was really crazy that I pulled them the way I did. See, like like a turn like this where you just have so many options of what to what you want to do. You could do this, boom, perfect. You do this, boom, perfect. And then you have extra orbs left over just for uh, next turn. It really, um, this is a really just a strong category. And I mean, it just, it only gets better, really. I mean, I can't think of needs on top of my head that make it supremely better. Like, that can't, that have come out recently. But I mean, they exist, you know. And there's some Super Saiyan, uh, t uh, Super Saiyan units that I don't own either. So, I mean, I have to look at, I have to look at a list and be like, oh, hey, I don't have him or I don't have him. But it's quite a few, right? I mean, it's a very big category. It's always gonna, it's always going to get bigger. Um, I don't know how it is relative to like other categories. Like I imagine, I imagine the biggest is probably pure Saiyans off the top of my head, and Goku's family would probably in the top three. Um, what else would be really big? I know Majin Buu Saga used to be the biggest at one point in time. Uh, I don't think it is anymore. I don't. I couldn't. I don't think any of. Well, you had Buu and Gotenks that came out before. Um, I believe after the fifth year anniversary for JP. Um, we'll just do this. I'm trying to. Th I don't think it's gotten substantially bigger. I mean, you had the the soap the Spokovich that has come out. You had uh, yeah, you actually have had a few more units come out, huh? Because you had the the boo that comes with that. Uh, I think it's a new boo that comes out. You had the board that's come out in the past like year. You had the great same that's come out. So I guess it has gotten a little bit bigger. It may still be top three, I guess, I suppose. But I would imagine that by pure saying is probably the biggest I would I would figure. Uh and as far as strategy goes, like you literally just see me clicking at this point. Uh it's not like <laughs> if you like you know, let's say you're like a beginner, like I joined twenty fifteen, but let's say you joined like twenty nineteen, December ish. Uh, the Christmas celebration, whatever that, I don't remember what that was. I think that was Step Up LR Banner. Uh, let's say you came in then. What would I recommend you run? Uh, so Link is, it's key here. So it's kind of similar to the same strategy that you would have. Matter of fact, I think it's a little bit different because things reset between each Dokkan event. But I would still say that it's very important to have, like, uh, units that, I guess, stack. Those are really the, um... The most clutch units that have come out in the past couple of years. It's a new meta. The same way that like stunning and um and ceiling was a meta back when I first got started. Ceiling and, and uh, um you know lowering it, not even lowering attack because that that was big also around the same time as stunning and ceiling. But raising your own attack and defense is basically like the golden goose now, uh, so to speak. So you can find units like that. That's what that's what I would recommend. If you just need recommendations, which I don't think most people should. I feel like if you have a, a pretty major category leader and you really shouldn't need any of this. Like, there's people that are on the, the Dokkan Reddit uh, as saying that they could beat this with um, Team Bardock, which is a very powerful. I mean, like, you know, I mean, obviously it should be a pretty big jump over the Ginyu Force that came out like, I think, two years ago now. Um, maybe like early last year or something like late 2018 i don't know something like that um but it's been a while right pretty big i feel like a pretty big uh jump and then with having um a, a good lr leader like ginyu force this the tech ginyu force is decent the physical one is like ash cheeks i remember correctly um having a good leader is pretty cool like a good LR leader is pretty, it does a lot for that, right? Um, just do that. So I would say that even if you have like a rainbow tech or a team Bardock, which you should have rainbow, if you have them, I would go with them at like worst case scenario. But like if you have like, let's say, physical Super Saiyan Vegeta, the transforming one, or even AGL Goku, the transforming one. Th th those right there should be able to get you like literally across like almost this entire event. You could do off the top of my head. 
They create orbs, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, I was making sure. Or he creates orbs, it's not a day unit. Just do that. Uh, we could, probably could have got some more orbs somewhere else, but it is what it is. E okay. Okay, so with that team, let's say you go physical with uh, Vegeta, because he's, he's a better leader skill, right? Uh, you could do... You do Vegeta, you could do the uh, Tech, Goku, and Gohan. You could do... Hell, I mean, you could still run, like, the, the STR Super Super Saiyan Vegeta and Bulma. I mean, that's a, a very good unit, I would say, to get some cheap damage off. Um, you could run STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta in there. That's... Two really good defensive units and one that's kind of okay, you know, maybe. Um, let's see, who else? so that's, that's four right there. And I mean, I guess if you had like, I'm trying to think of some units that would be common, you know, like that you could have actually obtained between here and now. Uh, I would think that it's going to give us, I think it's going to give us a rainbow, right? No, this, this should definitely give us Dokkan. Uh, this is gonna be like a one hit quitter right here. Let's see how much damage this does. Let me let me pay attention real quick. This might like be a one hit quitter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's see what happens here. That physical uh, UI Goku, maybe he'd be good. I remember a lot of people liked him a little bit back in the day. Uh, let's see how much damage does. Yeah, 4.9. Holy shit. And then he, like, lowers defense and attack, too. Goodness gracious. Um. Anyway, there's, there's like, some good free-to-play units out there, right? Like, you, you definitely, like, can do it. Like, if you really... It's not gonna be, like, easy, right? Like, it's not gonna be like this, where you just literally don't look at the screen while you're, like, playing the game. But definitely possible. I mean, with, with any... With any, I feel, Pure Saiyan's lead, if you have a Pure Saiyan's lead, it's almost wholeheartedly possible. If you have a super class lead, like if you just had Trunks, tech Trunks that I have on this team, easily done, I would feel like. Um, just anything like that, just any powerful leader skill, like something like Super Saiyan 3 might be a little bit hard, something like Joint Forces, if you don't have like, the right units, maybe a little bit hard, but... Generally, there's a lot of like really expansive categories. They, I'll say that that um, Akatsuki and all of them, they did a good job of um, really coming out with really big categories. Like not like initially, but over time, up until like the past couple of years, they've had some really expansive and uh, really really deep categories. And yeah, I think that's done a lot to like really help free to play players. Um, let's do this, and let's go with this, is this the, let's do this. No, what I should do is have AGL attack first, AGL Super Saiyan Goku attack first, and I should have had, yeah, I'm, see, I'm not even paying attention, I can't even, like, do strategy, I'm not even paying attention at this thing, to do strategy, right? This really shouldn't be hard for anybody, I, I can't stress that enough to you, this should not be... Something you like labor over and like, oh, I don't have enough items or this. And I think you can use items too, so this really shouldn't be like a problem. Like, just bring like nothing but healing items or maybe like a couple of ghost ushers. The only thing I can think of is if like this has like uh, an event that has Goku's SSBK uh, spirit bomb. If that was something that transpired, then we might be like up shit's creek, but like. I'm not really too worried about that because if it happens, it happens. But um, even though you have a defense for that, like like I said, if you went pure Saiyans, Super Saiyan three, Vegeta could tank it. Um, trying to figure out who else who has like I don't know who else is like just across the board damage mitigation to that extent as a Saiyan. I know that all the Golden Force, uh, Golden Freezer units might. I know AGL does, Tech does. I know like. Easy A's, maybe they're a little bit different, uh, but I think just about all of them have some kind of damage mitigation for the most part. But as far as, like, 
as far as Saiyans go, I don't really know too many outside of Vegeta that really has, like, he can tank the spirit bomb type of mitigation. And I believe that Vegeta can actually tank the spirit bomb um, fairly easily. Like, probably do like 100,000 maybe. Um, it doesn't, it's not like an insta-kill, really. It actually, you can survive, though. I think you can survive just about all of those. Um, maybe in Battlefield, maybe not. But they're designed to, like, to where, like, you're supposed to do like a um like a pretty set amount of, of damage. And you just have like good good enough units as possible. Like AGL Frieza, just to reference somebody else. AGL Frieza can tank every single one of those. Uh Tech Golden Frieza might be able to, I'm not sure about that. I feel like he maybe could. But uh let's see what's up with this. The tech trunks are so good, man. I mean against typing. He's about to like He's about to almost kill my figure. Uh, okay, maybe not. But he hasn't really built up either. He's a long-term guy. Like, Tech Trunks is probably the most versatile unit for, like, a free-to-play guy. If you could get him... Uh, I think mine is, like, what, one dupe in him, maybe? Maybe? Let's see. Yeah, one dupe in him, man. I mean, he's, like, one of my most useful units in this game, I would say. All right, um... If it, if it got to that third turn, uh, Easy Day Super Saiyan Vegeta, which is a unit everybody should have, he would have just eat this guy up a lot. And he has like a higher damage, damage mitigation too than he uh, used to have. That's a cool like, little card art. I mean, it's it's you know it's just easy as one, two, three, man, really. It's just, it's just really, there's no other way to put it, man. I legitimately believe you should go to struggle against this. If you're, if you're more than like, three years into this not even three if you're more than like one and a half years into this game this should be like blindfold easy to complete Peace. fucking curtain is behind me you're messing me up Ugh. okay And it's just like, this team alone like has like almost, well it has some dupes, this specific lineup, like most of my, uh, most of my hard hitters wouldn't have dupes, like if I went all LRs, um, the only one with a dupe would be like, would be this physical uh, SS Gogeta, he's at 69%, I don't think I have any more dupes of him, um, no dupes in Ant Vegito, no dupes in AGL um, LR. <laughs> I want to say the whole thing. AGL Goku, uh, no dupes in him. I don't think there's, there's no dupes in Tech uh, Goku and Gohan, or Gohan and Goten. There might be a dupe for LR and Gohan, um, the Super Saiyan 2 one that I may have laying around. I'm not sure. I know I have a dupe for the. Let's just do this. This should be GG's. There's definitely a dupe in Int LR Gohan, but AGL one, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, who else is out there? No, I, I don't think I have a dupe for AGL LR Gohan. What, what, this is Super Saiyan is right, so what else, what are, what are LR to be on here? I'm trying to think. I think that's it. I think it's the only other LRs that could possibly be on here. I may be wrong about that, but I don't know if there's any other one that could be on here, right? Well, Tech, Easy A, well, it's soon to be Easy A, SS Goku would be on here. Uh, but he obviously doesn't count for pretty obvious reasons, I feel like. Mm, I don't think Vegeta would do like a crazy amount, so we'll just give those to him. And we'll just do that right there. Alright, so... Super Saiyan Vegeta, the Ant one, um, obviously also doesn't count. Uh, Super Saiyan Gohan, Goten, Goku. Trunks? Oh yeah, Trunks. I think I have a dupe for Trunks, I'm pretty sure. I think I have a dupe in him. I, I, I want to say, I, yeah, I, I've pulled one recently. Yeah, I have a dupe, I have a dupe laying around, um, for trunks, I don't think I have it in him yet. I mean, those guys aren't like the best. Like, 
Let, let, let's put it like this. If you could have a dupe for you know, LR Trunks or LR Int go on or fucking, I don't know, um, <laughs> like those guys, right? Like you, you're you not taking them over a dupe in Go On and Goten, LR Gohan. Even like, even like LR Int Vegito would do more with a dupe than, than they would, you know? They just, especially like Trunks. Trunks does not matter in today's meta i mean at all four million attacks that you know you hate to see it um and this is a rainbow the friends are rainbow by the way uh let's see or int gohan i have one dupe in them i have another one laying around i haven't put in i find it helps his damage but it still doesn't make him more usable unit and um you know he's still so orb dependent like to get that that full like punch because of how little his um i think how little his his Passive skill does help him without getting an insane amount of orbs. Uh, he does link up generally well, I believe, but like you still can run into some situation in which you don't give him like, the full 24 key, and then it's like there's there's some units that can hit better than him if like if it's in non-optimal situations, I should say. Uh, there's a few that can that can do more damage than he can, I would say, in today's meta. Once upon once upon a time, that wasn't true. I think for the longest, like the top two LRs and damage is just like him and and uh and SS three Goku. Like for the longest, they were like the top two. I don't know when that broke, but that was how it was for a while. And I don't even know if it was close between. Like I think, I think it might have been something that came along after the hundred percent meta. But um, yeah, it, it took a while to even then uh, the hundred percent meta like has spanned over like a long time like. Tech SS33 Goku probably came out like 2017, I want to say. Um, and then STR Trunks and mine came out like 2018, maybe. Like 2019, maybe even. So it was a pretty like long span between uh, point A to point B. And they were both like 100% leaders, I think. Oh, he does that linking, uh, that, that ceiling shit. I forgot about that. So yeah, this is really like the only time I probably struggle is because like my set rotations would be like wonky. He, it's like he always knows which one's like your strongest, um, your strongest unit, and that's what he always goes for. I swear, like him and Omega Shinra always do that. He really has like a to be such a like I pulled, I went and went on his banner for like five hundred stones, and this is like before the LR Step Up banner came on, uh, for Christmas and Global. And I was so pissed I didn't get him because of just how how nice his leader skill was. I think he was the first dual leader skill. Not his leader skill, his animation, his attack animation. Um, and he was also the first double leader skill unit on Global. And he had a really good leader skill. Like He had like, I think it was like 170% of the universe sits. And then like 130% to uh, universe arrival. Which is, I mean, obviously like... That's like one of the, mm, I would figure that's one of the better teams you could put together. Now, I'm not saying it's probably one of the best, but it's probably one of the better. I mean, you really think about that. Oh, I fucking wasted a dope attack. I'm trying to think like who all goes on there. I know you can use a healing item to break through the ceiling, but I just didn't even bother looking. I'm not sure I have a healing item. Like I may have like a, a, uh, what do you call it? A, um. A defensive item that gives you healing, but I don't even know if those count necessarily. They probably do, but it's been so long since I've used one in uh, an event like this. I just don't remember, right? But um, what was I saying? Um, I forgot. <laughs> I, I hope y'all enjoyed this video so far. Uh, we're just about. It's probably like about thirty minutes, but we're just about done with it. Almost. Almost. There should be about two more events, I think, after this. I'm hoping they like are saving Goku for last. I think I think SSBK Goku should be on here. He may not be, but he should be. Yes, you got Trunks. Oh, Trunks is the last one. Oh, that's a buzzkill. But this is really old. Like this is like old. Like they're they're like Trunks came out. Shit, he came out like what Christmas? He was like a Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. 
Um, because LR Rose, it was like a celebration they did. Like LR Rose, uh, I want to say Zamasu was AGL Zamasu was part of that celebration, but I may be wrong on that front. Um, but it would make sense because you know Trunks and and Zamasu came out at the same time. Well, no, Trunks' counterance is um is Merge Zamasu and a new Merge Zamasu. I, I think the AGL Zamasu was a new Merge Zamasu, but. You know, whatever. Um, and then uh, Aunt L.R. Rose. Aunt L.R. Rose comes out this celebration. So he couldn't have came out back then. Yeah, because Aunt L.R. Rose and um, the Broly Chile and, and what's her name? Right, Aunt Chile is the chicken and then the other dude. Uh, Limo, I believe his name is. They are the L.R. to come out the part two of the celebration. So I think it was Trunks and Zamasu and somebody else. Um, I don't remember who else came out, but that was a celebration a while back. So this looks like half a year old is what I want to say. At least half a year old. Uh, we'll just do... We'll just do... I don't know. Let's just do this. Do that. I'm going to do this. Okay. I, I think these things are cool to see like just where this game was at at one point. Like... I don't really like I'm not really fascinated with Dokkan as I used to be like I know a lot of people still just love Dokkan unconditionally I I don't I, I've just kind of gotten past I mean I really only play because of how much money I've sunk into this account like I couldn't really justify having put that much money into it how so much years into it so much hours into it and like just dropping it um but I feel like at some point in my life I probably will do that just because I don't like have fun playing this game anymore and this, I don't know. I mean, like, like if you if you told me two years ago, like, it's an anniversary coming. I'm like setting aside a hundred dollars easy to like ball hard in the anniversary, and I'm hyped like every waking day of like that first couple of weeks for the anniversary. Dog, I like pulled out my phone in the middle of work back in a two year celebration. And I was summoning on, on Gogeta and Omega. Like, it was just something I did. Like, I used to love this game a lot. And it's kind of, uh, just tedious to me. I mean, like, the it's just not as much to do. I mean, when you get to a certain point in any game, that's just how it is. You know, you the creators can't keep up with the demand. Um, and not, that's not to say, like, Akashi doesn't do, like, a good job of, like, providing content. Because, like, even with, like, such a limited anime that has, like, it's pretty repeated um main hype characters like you can go just about any art and the main characters that are hype are vegeta goku um 50 50 shot of gohan pretty much it's going to either be gohan or trunks in any given arc that's like the third most hyped character in that art um if you're talking about heroes at least i mean if you went to villains it's obviously every Arc has a different primary villain, but for the most part, the main guys that are hyped as heroes are gonna be Goku and Vegeta with the occasional trunks and go on. And then like there's not even like there's not a good piccolo in this game. Like a, just an unconditionally good piccolo. You can I mean like if you can if you can believe that a guy that was the primary villain of the original Dragon Ball, um and then a guy that obviously had a lot of influence in the way that Gohan, Goku, pretty much every Z warrior evolves. When you think about that, and the fact he doesn't have a good, unconditionally good, like, that's crazy. Like, I mean, Krillin's got his first, like, Dokkan Fest. I think I think that's his first Dokkan Fest unit ever was the one that just came out in the, uh, the new LR, Goku, and, and Vegeta banner it's like his first ever dokkan fest unit i believe i want to say i'm not absolutely sure but i want to say that's the case that's crazy to me hell i mean like his first ever good unit was like the battlefield int krillin i want to say that's like his first ever like good unit i mean that's that's fucking just a, a, amazing to say <laughs> when you really consider how much weight someone like that has in this uh arc I should say. Should I switch it out? Should I do this? What's the difference? 341,000. 
Pay forty six thousand. That's not really that big. I'm just gonna do this. They link up. I think they link up way better when they like both awaken, which is even to this day. <laughs> it's funny that even to this day, it's still that they were like one of the first major transformations, if I remember correctly. Um, even to this day, it's still so hard to get them to transform. Like it's funny how hard they make that um, to be in. I would say theirs isn't like that hard looking back, like at least on paper, because like fifty percent is like compared to like Gohan and sales. I mean, it's you know that's pretty damn accessible. You know, that's like AGL Vegeta. AGL Vegeta is actually pretty difficult to get. Now that I think about it, like it's another one that's supposed to be easy on paper, but like you just don't ever see it, right? Um, that's kind of weird to think about. There's quite quite a few that are um, that's supposed to be easy, but just are not. We'll just set him out here to so we can get the counters. Um, he's still so it's he can't even super right now if he wanted to. He's not gonna live fast his turn anyway, so it's it's you know it is what it is. Thirty one minutes, holy shit! I ain't go to bed soon. I want to step and get this done just to get it passed. Uh, get the stones, obviously. I think it should be. I think I think it reached a a, a pinnacle of. I want to say 35. I guess we'll just do it on camera. I want to say 35 is the max that has reached. 297, and that is about it. Yep. So, again, like I said, not too hard. Uh, if you look at the health, I mean, I got like 15,000 off my health. So, I mean, pretty, pretty damn easy, I would say. Nothing I could say. A total eclipse of the yard. <laughs> Shout out to. Um, who made that song? I, I'm gonna listen to her. I'm gonna listen to that song a while for the past couple of, uh, days, but totally clips the hardest. That's my shit. Thirty five, yes. Yeah, I want to say forty five, but thirty five is where it got to, which I mean that's pretty good. I mean, so yeah, um, we got these new. We got Tuner Stone Banner, which I wouldn't recommend doing this until like you've already went through the banners a couple of times the, the primary banners and then you can re revisit this i wouldn't do it until you did that that's just my advice i mean you look at this i mean look at this man look how many ash units are on this like i think it's lrs on here too but like there's some horrible units on this like just off rip like easy a area but but um this is i think a good pretty decent unit easy area but um, old. I mean, he's a good linking skill, a uh, linking partner. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Easy area. You listen. No one wants to pull easy area units. I mean, that's just not what we want. Anyway, that's about it. Hope you enjoy the video. 